Okay, so at the end of the day, you're going to have to realize what type of relationship you have because we know there's many. There's monogamy, there's open, there's situationships even, long-term, and even other considerations of if it's long distance, that sorts of stuff. So what I say to you today, what I say to you today, you do have to kind of, let's say in a sense, make it make sense if it applies to what you have going on so when it's time to know if you should leave her some of the just basics and then you can narrow it down on your own can be if you find yourself having to change or compromise what initially was the foundation of the relationship so that simply can mean that the mutual agreement was uh no being sneaky the mutual agreement was let's say if you're in an open relationship or you're just talking um, we let each other know what's going on, but you guys obviously can be doing your own thing, talking to other people, etc. And then obviously, if you're in a serious relationship, that could simply mean don't start talking to somebody behind my back. Or for instance, if you're talking to a female, don't start talking to men, especially without your your awareness. And especially if it's somebody of the past and she had a thing with that sorts of stuff. So those are the little things that you have to be aware of. Like what again was that initial agreement? If that initial agreement revolved around around it being a certain way and now you're seeing that it's changing you have to check yourself too as to how much did you have to start accepting things and now it's becoming it is what it is type of situation which leads me to the second thing and the second thing is also how many times have you had to give the strikes so let's just refer to red flags let's refer to having to call something now address the situation confront it that sorts of stuff so if that's happening you gotta now realize like are you pushing your own self and so this is gonna be like let's say if your uh, way of going about it is like three strikes which is a little bit too much y'all but if it's gonna be that that's where you gotta be mindful of okay there's no respect because i could easily tell you okay if you're constantly getting disrespected i could easily tell you if you're constantly getting lied to which i'll dive more into that stuff in a second however you have to also know what's your limit and realistically some people define disrespect uh something that's petty lies white lies differently than somebody that's going to be more extreme or somebody that's just like no that just doesn't make sense to do you get what i'm saying so question of the video is actually going to be two so questions of the video one would be um how many strikes do you normally give commonly i actually see guys say 1.5 i've actually seen this on my patreon somebody said that under um a question that i had in the group or uh, not group chat but like it's kind of like a community going on there which you can join and it's free so if you want to become a member you all you got to do is click the patreon link but if you do want to catch up on 200 plus content and so much that comes out every month you definitely can on the one of the tiers that is not free but i do drop one exclusive content as of now and it's probably going to change but i do drop it for the free community so it's up to you and if you are not on patreon you could become a youtube member and per usual, don't forget about my website. If you want to get on the line, let's even say for this particular situation, figure out what's okay, what's not, or how you can go about it. It could be about anything. Consultations are not just about dating, but even goals, where you want to head, how to stay on that path and remain staying the course. The link is down below and check out other things that I have out. I just dropped two new products, finding out the tactics about women. If you want that solution right now, what you got to do, and you don't want it to be a guessing game, I got gotcha. y'all. Just go ahead and check the uh, audiobook and everything else that's available. And so to kind of just, I guess we can say, get into what I already said as far as like disrespect and defining what it is for you. I feel like you have to also be like, how's your um, temper being switched? How's your emotions getting affected? Because think about it. If you now feel like, okay, this is stuck in my head or, oh, um, she, let's say for instance, she told you like, when I go out, make sure you don't call me, don't text me, that sorts of stuff. And then when you do do it one time, because if she ends up going to somewhere like sketchy, or if you know that there's men there or her ex there, like something along those lines, or she was texting you and she said she was going to keep texting you. And then when she gets there, she doesn't talk to you the whole entire night. You might not even hear of her until the next day so that could be where once you guys do end up talking whether it's the same day same night next day it's just gonna go all downhill and downhill can look like her going off her trying to put you in her place or even sometimes it, it could 
actually be gaslighting or sometimes it's simply about okay no you can't be doing that or it could also be about um you're wrong and that's where you have to once more know that okay let's go back to the foundation did it look like um you don't want to be with somebody talking crazy to you are you getting called out your name are you getting belittled is she calling you the p word is she calling you soft that sorts of stuff because for one a lot of times too this stuff does mean she means it um and then also it's just like if she gets comfortable with you and that's the words that she's running to then that could be like something you really want to watch out for because it is obviously showing a lack of respect. Now, one thing I do think is important, and I'll do more uh, more separate videos for y'all fellas because when I talk to y'all during consultations, I'm glad that you guys take accountability. That's awesome. So sometimes it's also about like, have you done anything wrong? Or is there certain stuff that either you stop doing can help or certain stuff that she brings you to end up doing but it's probably better off that if you're caught in these moments, you're doing the necessary stuff. And that's just down to the typical, the normal, uh, usual stuff that you hear about on my channel. So that's the ignoring space, no contact, etc. And I do have a no contact uh, journal and guide to do it properly. Uh, this is not the, you're just watching my videos and all that. This is step by step, keeping you accountable for if it's months or every time you have to go back to it. It's going to get you through it easily. And I made sure it's custom based off of what has already worked for many, many people. Um, so it's there as well on my website. So let me get into some of the wrapping up at this point. If you still haven't given this video a big thumbs up, please go ahead and do so. Leave your comments down below, like your stories. It helps out other fellas. And I do respond to y'all. Be in the comments. And you can definitely tell me if you want a part two or any questions that you do have. Let it be known. And so... As I was saying with like the part of if you know you're getting triggered or now you have to put up with something because she's switched or she's changed at that point also like is it really worth remaining? I only say this because sometimes there is like fighting it through sometimes there is still potential and then the common things such as just lack of communication trust issues that sorts of stuff it could be resolved but like realistically who wants to be the only one that is putting in the effort or fighting for the relationship so when you're starting to know yourself that man this is like exhausting draining etc and also it's going on for a longer period than it should or than you want it to be that sorts of stuff then of course at that point it's up to you on separating and the reason why i say this too is that like you could be making the situation worse by kind of in a sense allowing the behavior or going getting back with her that sorts of stuff it could take for her to see that you're over it you're tired of it that sorts of stuff in order for let's say the disrespect to not be as disrespectful at least right at least but of course you would want no disrespect at all now when i bring this video back up i'll talk about more other stuff when like let's say if an argument is about hey um, it's none of your business or don't worry about what I'm doing or um, gaslighting, any type of behavior like that or manipulation. I will get into more details. Um, but like I said, check out the links down below. Find what can work for you. There will be something there and I can be your coach. Book a consultation. We'll get on the line and get that started right away and uh, take care of yourself in all aspects. I love y'all. Bye, y'all.